flooding can cause significant damage to property, which is why companies and municipalities use incredible devices to prevent the water from getting in. Join me as we take a look at 15 of the most amazing anti-flood inventions. Number 15. New York City's Seawall When you think of an island, your mind probably goes straight to Hawaii or Fiji, somewhere tropical. But you have to remember that even New York City is an island, and even the tough, no-nonsense New Yorkers were reminded of that during the disastrous hurricane that was Hurricane Sandy in 2012. For anyone who thought the world was coming to an end that year, this was about as close as you got on the east coast of the United States. Neighborhoods were ravaged and thousands upon thousands of New Yorkers were displaced, so it makes sense that the state took measures to make sure everyone is prepared for the next big one. The Big Apple is working on fabricating a six-mile-long wall to keep any future floods at bay. The New York City seawall is just one of five proposals, but this one seems to have gained the most support. Ideally being placed in the outer reaches of the New York Harbor, the seawall would protect landmarks like the Statue of Liberty and all of the waterfront property while also staying out of sight. The entire project costs a whopping $119 billion and will take 25 years to complete the 20 to 30 foot high walls if it all goes through. New York certainly wouldn't be the first city to implement this countermeasure and is taking notes from St. Petersburg, Russia, which has built its own 15 mile barrier. Number 14. Sponge Cities China's got an interesting predicament on its hands. The country is experiencing both a water shortage as well as a flooding crisis, so they've decided to combat the complex issue by soaking it all in, literally. The country is investing in what they're calling sponge cities to help mitigate damages caused by flooding and keep people from being displaced. Flooding in the region has reached historic levels, and in 2021, the city of Zhengzhou experienced the worst flooding in a thousand years, so it's time for a historic solution. But then, what exactly is a sponge city? Is the ground actually made of a sponge? Well, not exactly. The concept of a sponge city reaches back to 2012 as part of China's eco-cities, with key features being sustainable infrastructure like interconnected greenways and waterways, open green spaces throughout the area, green roofs and more porous drainage systems, along with water saving and recycling initiatives. In a sponge city, the flood water is going to have way more places to go, and the new greenways and roofing will better absorb the water to create something beautiful out of what is usually so destructive. It's about learning to work with the storms rather than against them. With a greener city and greener buildings, these 1,000-year floods, which are now becoming more frequent, should help the urban environments thrive because green, for lack of a better term, is good. Number 13. Engineered Green Spaces When you're creating an anti-flood invention, you can easily go the traditional route and just build a big barrier. And while those may keep your home nice and dry, they can be a bit of an eyesore and aren't big enough to help out the neighbors. So what if a city was able to build green spaces like parks and gardens that, while beautiful and serene, also serve another purpose? What if they were meant to protect towns from floods, too? Well, researchers at MIT have already put cities like Houston and Los Angeles on their radar in the hope of outfitting them with a newly engineered green space with natural stormwater management systems. This means a small cluster of islands, all modular and scalable to fit the area's individual needs, to keep the stormwater flowing and the flowers blooming. These artificial wetlands will have ponds and marshes too, creating their own little ecosystem and exist in harmony with the urban environments. The biggest issue with floods anywhere is control, but if these big brains at MIT can control where the water goes, that means less havoc during the storm. And because storm water is usually filthy, carrying all sorts of city trash and muck around with it, and getting into our water systems, the engineered green spaces help to purify the water using both chemical and biological processes, like filtration through vegetation and biofilms that capture pollutants. Floods, unfortunately, are inevitable, but if we can make lemonade out of lemons, then that might be a victory. Number 12. Rain Gardens An urban sprawl implementing greenery to combat floods is one thing, but what about the suburbanites living in much smaller communities? Well, they need help too. So luckily, there are rain gardens. 
operating on a much, much smaller scale. Rain gardens are a feature in the landscape that captures water, absorbs it, and helps to slow down any runoff caused by the storm. It's a process known as bioretention, and it includes all sorts of awesome methods like stormwater planters, green gutters, downspout planters, and even stormwater trees and trenches. Not only are these rain gardens holding back the flood, keeping homes safe, but they're also filtering out all of the disgusting toxins before the flood water reaches storm drains, streams, and reservoirs. Think of it as nature's water filter. But the thing about rain gardens is that in reality, they're just recreating what would occur naturally in the areas of the world untouched by human hands. So not only is it a great way to keep people and their homes safe, it's a solid way to kind of return to the land and allow nature to operate as if it were not even there. And they're easy as cake to make too. All you really need to do to build one of these rain gardens is simply dig a shallow depression into the land, fill it with native plants, add soil, and top it off with sand. Presto. Number 11. Ike's Dyke Leave it to the United States Army Corps of Engineers to come up with one of the next best anti-flood inventions. Ike's Dyke is a $29 billion proposal from the U.S. Army that will protect the Texas Gulf Coast from upcoming storm surges and hurricanes that typically rip the area to shreds. The city of Galveston, Texas specifically was ravaged back in 2008, and so plans have been in place to prevent such a catastrophe since then. The hurricane caused 20-foot waves to crash down along the Texas coast, and so Ike's Dyke will provide a necessary seawall stretching out from the beach out to South Padre Island. But the dike is a lot more than just a wall. The project entails an enormous gate system to block any incoming storm surges from coming towards the coast, and an additional two 650-foot long and 22-foot high gates at the mouth of Galveston Bay. The only way floodwaters are getting in is if they know the password. But while these gates and walls are being built, the city plans on creating another 43 miles of beach and 14-foot-high dunes to act as an additional barrier. But as you would expect, the project of this scale is going to take years to complete, and the Texas legislature only approved the proposal in 2021, so hopefully there won't be any thousand-year storms until then. Number 10. Climate Tile Ceramic tile, porcelain tile, marble tile, Climate tile. You may not want to implement it when renovating your house, but climate tiles could very well be one of the biggest anti-flood inventions to date. The climate tile is a project still in its early phases of development in Scandinavia. So far, the project's first wave will be a 165-foot stretch of special pavement built to handle storm runoff and keep it from flooding into the urban areas. But when you walk along with the climate tile, you just may think it's your everyday concrete sidewalk, but with a closer look, you'll notice all of the small holes throughout. These holes are the perfect place for the water to flow through and then from there be directed to the allotted water banks and nearby plants. So far, climate tiles are capable of catching and redirecting a solid 30% of the overflow, and all of this without causing any damage to the infrastructure. Think of it almost like a waterway right below your feet. It's an awesome project that really doesn't require the same amount of time, effort, or money as something as large as, say, a Seagate, while still working hard to maintain the safety of the urbanites, while also helping to add a little everyday beauty along the way. Number 9. Resist, Delay, Store, Discharge System The next entry on this list may have an ominous name, but fear not. Resist, Delay, Store, Discharge is here to help. New Jersey also fell victim to Hurricane Sandy in 2012, and the city of Hoboken was especially hit hard. So not only was the city rebuilt, but it was up to the powers that be to find a way to make sure it never happens again. And so the Department of Housing and Urban Development came up with the Resist, Delay, Store, and Discharge system, which focuses on integrating infrastructure in such a way that it protects not only the coastal neighborhoods, but the city at large. It all starts with the softer, more absorbent landscape, resist, then building an urban infrastructure that promotes the proper flow and redistribution of the stormwater runoff, delay. The store aspect comes in when all the excess rainwater runs right into the interconnected green infrastructure, which uses the water for its own purposes, and then finally water pumps and alternative routes will be created to get that harmful stormwater out of harm's way, discharge. It's an awesome invention and a great plan that understands that sometimes problems require slightly more complex solutions, 
because the more sides you tackle it from, the faster you're going to solve it. And frankly, a problem as big as a flood is going to need one big solution. Number 8. Mohs Storm Gates It's no secret that Venice, Italy is sinking, and while it's one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world, it can feel like it has an expiration date and the city's center, St. Mark's Square, floods about 60 times a year. So then how the hell do they fix that? Well, with storm gates, that's how. The project known as Mohs first began in 2003 and involved four large retractable storm gates anchored down at three different inlets. When the water levels rise, the gate rises to meet them and seal off the lagoons in just 15 minutes, hopefully staving off catastrophe. As of 2018, the plan required a total of 78 of these storm gates, which need to be closed daily in order to get the most out of them. And while looking at a long yellow barrier may not complement all of the beauty that Venice has to offer, it certainly has helped to keep the citizens a bit drier than normal and allows for the city to hold on just a little bit longer, offering protection from tides of up to 10 feet high. Number 7. Agger's Self-Closing Flood Barrier When the flooding begins, the worst thing you can be is unprepared or too late. Luckily, there are some great inventions that operate on their own, so folks in high flood areas are never caught off guard. One of these amazing anti-flood inventions is the self-closing flood barrier from Agars, but all of its friends just call it the SFCB. The SFCB is an all-purpose anti-flood contraption. It is seriously perfect for any concrete jungle that gets its fair share of flooding during those obnoxious raining seasons. It's the perfect addition to any critical infrastructure, like a power plant or chemical installation, primary and secondary dikes, civilian homes and businesses, coastal areas, and any underground infrastructure, like subway systems or tunnels. There are so many moving parts to any city that if just one thing fails, it can lead to a further unnecessary disaster. And this is another contraption that uses the power of the flood against itself, this time by deploying once the flood waters actually hit. It's the force of the waters that automatically raises the barrier to protect everything behind it. That means that the SFCV is on permanent standby and never needs to be put away. It requires zero electricity, is totally invisible when it's not in use, and each one is made to last for a full 50 years. That's absolutely awesome. And while the SFCB may not be a household name just yet, it has certainly been getting the job done since 1998. Number 6. The Osterschelte Kering. Try not to get your tongue twisted with this next entry on the list. The Osterschelte Kering, or Eastern Scheldt Surge Barrier, connects the islands of Schauwe-Duiveland and Noord-Beveland in the Netherlands, and it's the largest of the Delta Works dams and barriers. It stretches on for about five and a half miles, holding back those treacherous waters when the going gets tough. It was built between 1976 and 1986, and it was a monumental step in the efforts to curb flooding in the Netherlands. And sure, the Eastern Scheldt Surge Barrier is renowned for its size, but it's also well respected for its uses of innovative hydraulic technology, as well as complex construction. Because sometimes complex problems need complex solutions. This surge barrier involves a system of doors that can open and close when necessary, but without disrupting the water's salinity which could offset the balance of the surrounding ecosystems. Basically, it keeps all the dirty water out. The entire structure consists of 65 pillars, all nearly 130 feet tall and weighing 18,000 tons, and built on an island. While they're all made of concrete, the pillars were built with hollow cores to make transportation easier, before they were all laid down and filled with sand. Connecting all of these pillars are the 62 steel slide carriers, all 137 feet long and activated by the aforementioned hydraulic system. And luckily, while the technology may have been developed all those years ago, the Osterschelde is still holding up today. Number 5. Aqua Dam The theory of Occam's razor states that the simplest solution is often the right one. That's exactly the case with the Aqua Dam. The Aqua Dam uses water-filled tubes to create barriers and a system of control around structures to prevent flooding. It was originally designed to block streams during the construction of pipeline crossings, but when they saw just how much water they were capable of holding back, they took the idea and ran with it. 
It's an awesome invention because quite literally anyone can own them and store them in their home between storms because when they're not full of water, they're not taking up much space at all. They've been tried and tested more times than anyone can count and have kept not just individual homes but entire communities safe from nasty floods. Because while massive municipal systems are always great, sometimes the individual is forced to take care of themselves without government intervention. The Aqua Dam is the perfect anti-flood invention to operate on a smaller scale. All you need to do in preparation is lay them out to create a barrier, attach a house, and watch them fill on up. Number 4. The Sandmaster Sandbags are a great way to keep properties safe from floods, but they come with one big catch. They're super heavy and laying them out can take forever. Enter the Sandmaster. The Sandmaster is an awesome piece of heavy machinery that, using the power of hydraulics, picks up more sandbags than you can ever dream of carrying and lays them out exactly where you need them. It's actually really cool to watch and a great reminder that sometimes we really do need machines to do a human's job. No more hauling sandbags back and forth or creating human assembly lines just so your arms can go numb after a while. At the end of the day, when you know the storm is coming, you need to act fast. And unfortunately, we can't always be fast enough. So then why not saddle up some horsepower and pure hydraulic strength to do things that we really don't want to be doing? Number 3. Quick Boat Sure, a great anti-flood invention is going to protect you from the water entirely. But what about the next day? We see so many news stories where people need to leave their homes for supplies, find loved ones, or just help out others in need, only to be greeted by a sea of nasty flood water. And most people don't even own a boat, so what are the rest of us supposed to do? Well, get a quick boat. Quick boats come in different sizes, but they all have one thing in common. They come in pieces and can be set up in just a few minutes, so you can get anywhere you need to be fast. They're also incredibly easy to put together and without the need for any tools, which is great because it can be hard to keep your composure during an environmental crisis, and they can all fit up to four people. And while paddling is never a bad option, you can slap an engine on the rear of a quick boat to get where you need to be extra fast. Someone once said that in moments of crisis you should look for the helpers, and after a bad flood there's a good chance they'll be riding around in quick boats looking to offer a helping hand. Number 2. Survival Capsule Sometimes in the middle of a vicious flood, things get a little too hairy and the worst can happen. It's a sad but true fact of the situation, and in those moments where the home you're in becomes too unstable or is about to be swept away, it's easy to feel helpless, but thankfully, the survival capsule exists. Yeah, it's cheesy, but it'll keep you alive and keep you safe. It's still patent pending, but the survival capsule is a round structure with two seats to strap into, and once you close that door, the watertight seal will keep you dry. Think of it as an escape pod from Star Wars. And while it may seem a bit unconventional, it's been tested to work in even the harshest conditions like hurricanes, storm surges, and even tsunamis. Inside the survival capsule, you have a little more control over your own survival than if you were stuck in a municipal safe house during an emergency situation. And most important, the capsule is buoyant, so no matter how high the water levels rise, you will quite literally always come out on top. Sure, waiting for rescue teams to get to you may be the hardest part, but being painted such a bright standout color, you'll be pretty easy to spot. Designed by aerospace engineers, the survival capsule is built to last, because it's carrying the most precious cargo of all, you. Number 1. Damn Easy with easily the greatest product name in history, the Dam Easy is also one of the best anti-flood inventions you can get your hands on. Dam Easy is an awesome alternative to the heavy and sometimes messy sandbags of old and provides the owner with a flood gate to prevent any torrential waters from getting inside their home. The gates can even cover bigger entrances like garages, French doors, and even shop fronts. There's a Dam Easy for just about every occasion, so to speak. Most of the time when a flood hits you, you don't have much time to react, but the Dam Easy can be installed in less than 5 minutes, allowing you to get in and get out quickly so you can hold up safely inside. And what's great about this invention is that it's small and ready to use the moment you get it. All you have to do is prop up the barrier in front of your doors and secure it to the frame. 
It may sound like it's too good to be true, but keeping yourself safe from something as dangerous as a flood should be easy. The seal inflates a tube outside the dam's barriers that make the entire area watertight and can even be extended from the usual 30 inches to another 44. So while it may be hard to really relax during a flood, hopefully the damn easy can make people rest a little easier during the event. It's damn easy. Watch our Waves playlist for more top 15 videos about massive waves. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best wave videos.